Welcome to Beyond My Crisis. I'm your co-host, Ron Rosnick. And I'm Vivian Gaspar. And we're here to help people through their personal crisis with experts on the show that will guide you and help you in any situation that could be critical, whether it's domestic violence, losing a job, personal events and tragedies, um, we'll be with you. And help you have a more prosperous, comfortable, and successful future for the rest of your life. We're here today to welcome Mary McNutt. She's a CPA with an MBA, and she has a newly released book. She's also a motivational speaker and an expert at helping people find their passion and purpose and easily turning that purpose into a profitable business. Welcome, Mary, to our show, Beyond My Crisis. Thank you. It's great to be here. Well, we're very excited that you're helping people transform their lives because so many people are just stuck not knowing what to do in their careers. And when that happens, they make a lot less money and inevitably have more crises with taking care of themselves and their families. So tell us, so many people have heard about The Crisis. It was a well-renowned book and program, but you're telling us how to go beyond the crisis to realizing prosperity. Tell us about that, please. So oftentimes people are in a job or maybe they've just lost their job and I have easy ways for people to lean into starting their own self-employment or working in an industry that they're really excited about. I look for ways to uncover your passion and what you would like to do for free and then I help you find a way to get paid to do it because when you love what you do everything in your life works better. It helps your relationships, it helps your day-to-day -day working, it's better. Just it makes your whole life just flow better and you know what they say about the laws of attraction then you just attract the other pieces of your life to fall into place, right? Right, because when you love what you do, everything seems to work out better. I feel like as I got beyond my crisis and reinvented myself, my health got better, my marriage got better, my parenting got better, my money got stronger. Right, so these are obvious gains. Some people, though, feel like I'd like that too, but I've got to work at my job, I've got to make a living, I've got all these pressures, I can't get out of my own way. So what's the very first step someone needs to consider when they're going to make the decision for a transformation in their life? Let's say we've uncovered that your favorite, favorite thing to do is take beautiful photography. Uh, I have a client who was a banking manager and they were robbed while she was at the bank and oh instantly she could think, I just want to be home with my children. And ultimately she was already my CPA client. What I did was help her uncover the talent she had with taking photographs of her children in such unique and candid ways. So ultimately she kept her job for a while at the bank because that was paying the mortgage. It was really a requirement to keep that money flowing, but she knew she wanted to get out of that. And so I asked her to start taking photographs of her friend's children on weekends and the evenings, just one client at a time. And then it, slowly but surely, actually within 18 months, she became so well known with her ability to take these candid, beautiful photos of children that she was able to replace her income and quit her job at the bank. Wow, wow. she must just be so much happier with her life. It's that Fantastic. sounds like a dream. But, but was this a talent that she knew she had or you helped uncover? She thought it was just her little family talent. She didn't realize it was something that she could ever make a living out of. She like never, Anne Gettys makes a right. living out of it. Oh, yeah. Right. She, she just takes never, some fantastic pictures. That's and when right. I originally suggested it, she said, oh, well, there's already so many photography studios. And I said, well, I saw some gorgeous photos of your children on Facebook where they were so unique. I've never seen photos like that. And it doesn't matter how many other people are doing the same thing as you in the industry. If you stand out with a unique product, you're going to be successful. And if you create your passion, if you're doing what you love, you'll be better at it. You, so you have to be the um, best in your industry if you want success in your life. Like unique. That. Somehow to be the best in your uniqueness. Yes. Now, I heard you tell us beforehand a fantastic story about your own husband. So I love when you started at home and now 
besides making him happier, hasn't that also transformed your whole family situation? Absolutely. So I helped him reinvent himself from being an auto mechanic to starting his own business as a general contractor because he was doing some work on our new yard and he created the most amazing art piece out of our yard and I said, you've missed your calling, this is it. And 14 years later, he's had this wonderful, successful business. So really, for this to happen, you need someone in your life that has a vision higher than what you as an individual may see. And you're that person that can see the shining star in everybody. I do. I feel like that is a talent of mine, is to see possibility in others, whether they're able to see it yet or not, and bring ease and fun to everything that they do. So how do you encourage someone to get into that mind space where that could be, a, that could be their life also? Just start talking about getting your first client and letting them understand to start a business, you don't need to have some big fancy board of directors or a corporation entity. If you have a social security number, you can start your own sole proprietorship. So maybe you started out trying to do this business and you only got one client and then said, that's not for me. You haven't lost anything in my opinion. Right. But if you get a second client and a third client, and indeed if you're the best in what it is you do, they're going to refer you to other people and you won't even need to advertise. None of my clients advertise. None of your clients advertise? I think that's phenomenal. Can you give someone, maybe a couple, someone in our audience might think this is something that would really help change their lives. What would be a couple of easy steps they should take to make this happen for them? I first say start writing a list of talents. What is in your talent bank already? What are you already good at? Like the photographer, she was able to see that she does have cameras. She does, her father was a photographer. So she always thought that's a great hobby, but she it was able to uncover all of the different talents she already has. She was already a bank manager, so she knew that from a business perspective, she could handle the financial part of her business. So the first thing is writing a list of your, ta creating a talent bank. Yes. Okay, what would be the next thing to do? And then think about what it is you would do off of that list of your talent bank. What would you do for free? And so in photography, she would take photos of her friends for free, of her friends' children for free, and I just let her understand what a value that is and where the financial well-being is from that. But then people who want to start their own business would have to be salespeople, and maybe some employees are not, don't have that essence in them. How do they get their first sale? When you are doing what you love, there isn't really even a sale in it. It's just natural. I think that's so important to remind people that everyone says, I hate selling. But if you're just talking to people, you're not really selling. But to not undervalue what you're worth is also important. Very is that important. something that you would help people that you perhaps might guide them with? Yes. So some people Absolutely. may not be comfortable asking for what they'd like to get because their self-esteem, they're feeling that they're not really professional yet. Oh, How yeah. do you do that transition where you have the confidence to demand what you should receive? There's such easy ways to research. What are other people charging for this service? What, how are people getting out there and getting more clients? There's such a wealth of information out there to research from. And they, but they probably need a guide that can kind of enumerate all this. And you help people figure all this out. Yeah, I help bring the ease into it and the fun in it. I, my, my story is I put the dance in a bun dance. <laughs> and, 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 you know, talking about your story, you've got a big story. You have the, your book. Yes. Right. You wanna, and yes, <laughs> my new book. The Easy Guide to Reinventing You. And I really love that you're here because I think so many people, their lower self-esteem because they're so unhappy with what they do and or what they're earning, it really affects their whole families. I mean, think about not just single parents, but even if you're in a team, I mean, there's so many obstacles in the way that they can't now take care of their families, which leads to other crises. Mm. And it could also cost the family harmony or much, much worse. So I really think this is a valuable <coughs> service you're providing. Thank you so much. Right. 
I really say that when you're doing what you love, the health, wealth, and happiness follow with ease. I've seen it again and again. I've helped thousands of people reinvent themselves. Some people are bored with their job, but they're, they're committed to the secure income, but they don't know how to even start getting out of there. Some people are raising their children and they know eventually they want to start bringing in income. So I just help people slowly lean into this idea of reinventing themselves into something they love and bringing in income. Right, so that seed planted in their head has to keep growing, has to be nourished. It can't wither away. You gotta keep that action in your mind in focus. Right, in my book, the subtitle is The Fun Pathway to Your Dream Career in 11 Simple Steps. And I really emphasize throughout the book, simplicity, ease, and fun. If you're having fun, it feels amazing that you get paid for it right? right i think people really need to hold on to that mary thank you so much for coming on and i for one think that you're doing a great service and i had people. fun I, <laughs> and i thought it was I easy too. we had fun with ease yay yeah. thank you so much thank, thank you, you.